In this video, we're going to go through setting up your template in SmarterMail. To get started, we first need to go to the design page. On the design page, we can start editing our template. By default, you'll be editing your main template. However, if you'd like to add an additional template, you can click on the Add New Template link. When you've selected the template you'd like to edit, it's best to start with the header tab. Here you can upload your logo or any image you'd like to be displayed at the top of all your emails. To do this, just click on the Upload Image button and then choose the file from your computer. Once it's uploaded, your image will appear in the preview on the right. By clicking on the arrow on the right, you'll find additional options. These include the ability to resize your image. By default, the aspect ratio between your image's width and height is locked. So to only adjust one without affecting the other, just click on the unlock button. You can also change your background header's color by selecting a color with a color picker or by typing in a hex value. If you want to add a background image instead of using a solid color, you can click on the upload image button and then select an image from your computer. The next step is to add any links you'd like to include in your header. These can be links to various store pages, such as product collections. To add a link, type in the link text in the text field, and then the URL of the page you want people to be taken to in the URL field. Then click Add Link. The link will appear above, and in the preview on the right. You can keep adding additional links the same way. If after adding all the links you want, you want to rearrange their order, you can do so by clicking and dragging on the links. If you've realised you made a mistake with one of the links, you can also click on the pencil icon to make a change. After you've finished making the change, just click on the Save Link button. You can also remove a link from your header by clicking on the cross. Once you're happy with the links, you can then customise their appearance above. You can change the font, the font size, whether you want the links to display when people open your email on desktop or on mobile devices as well, the amount of spacing you want between links, the colour of the link text, and finally the colour of the background. After you've got your header links the way you want, the next step is to decide whether you want to add a viewing browser link. If you decide you want to add one, you'll be presented with options to customise the link's appearance. You can change the font of the link, the size of the link, the background colour, the colour of the text, the alignment of the link, and finally what you want your link to say. Once you're happy with your viewing browser link, you've successfully designed your header. If you'd like more control over how your header appears, you can also upload your own custom HTML header. However, this will completely remove all of the existing styling and elements from your template. In the next couple of videos, we'll go over how to design the body and footer sections of your template. We've included links to these videos in this video's description. If you'd like more help, or if you have any other questions, always feel free to reach out to our support team through the blue intercom button in the bottom right of your screen. Just send us your message and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.